The back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 114. Lotka. Habitat. Entity 114, or as it likes to call itself, Lotka, lives in level 240, Lotka Lake, under the main lake. Note, this knowledge has come from wanderers who used to live in level 240. There will be many quotes throughout the article, but as this information comes from children or from childhood memories, there is a chance that it is highly exaggerated or informal in nature. See, really fucking tall, and we at the Meg apologize deeply for this. Description. Entity 114 looks like a black pole that splits off into two similarly pole-like legs. It is very thin, except for its large head. It has two eyes that are stark white and take up most of its quote-unquote face. There are no other facial features that can be seen. It is described as being, quote, softer than a teddy bear, end quote, and, quote, really fucking tall when it fully stands up, like dude, end quote. It holds absolute power over the landscape and ecosystem of level 240, Lotka Lake, creating fruit trees and weather patterns for the children. Quote, one time, it even got us a cow, and some of the older kids hunted and cooked it. We ate steak for, like, a week later, end quote, a teenage ex-inhabitant said, regarding Entity 114 and its powers. It does not appear to have been anywhere else, but speaks as if it has been to many places. Quote, it even had some stories from my hometown, which no one had even heard of, but when I asked it if it had gone there, it said that it had never left the lake. Weird, right? End quote. Image caption. A drawing of Entity 114, and its height compared to a tree and a cloud, and the estimated height of the creature in general. Behaviors Entity 114 is described by ex-inhabitants of level 240, Lotka Lake, as quote-unquote gentle, quote, really nice but also kinda scary, end quote, and quote, like a nice old lady, end quote. It lets any child in and treats every child kindly no matter what. It will give advice and let anyone leave at any time. It has only gotten angry once, but no past inhabitant of level 240 that was there at the time of the incident was willing to discuss what transpired. Biology Entity 114, as stated before, is a lanky, semi-humanoid with black skin and large white eyes. It is intelligent and speaks in a multitude of languages, all in a voice that sounds like a, quote, low hum, but also a growl? But it's nice, like a grandpa with a scratchy voice, end quote. Image caption. A drawing of Entity 114 sitting under the lake where it usually resides. Discovery. Entity 114 is assumed to be discovered by Camille Northcott, the first inhabitant of level 240, Lotka Lake, but other children may have found level 240 before Northcott and left. Do's and don'ts. Do. Quote, it loves having people to listen to its stories. My favorite is the one where it talks about the princess in the castle, although Camille told me it's a fairy tale and not Lotka's own story. End quote. Quote, it was the least we could do, being polite. It was like providing us with all of this stuff, and it seemed to be happy whenever we said thank you or something like that. End quote. Quote. One day, we decided to celebrate its quote-unquote birthday by holding it a party and making it flower crowns. I think that was the happiest I've ever seen it. End quote. As assumed by the quotes above, Entity 114 likes to be praised and appreciated. Don't. It seems to be friendly enough, so there seems to be no dangers. That being said, be extremely cautious. There is still not much known about Entity 114. It also seems to be protective of the children residing in level 240, so do not hurt them. What will happen, none can say, but it is assumed to not be good. Meg Hidden File I was too scared to put this in the main report. Lotka, I'm sorry. Image Caption That fateful day 
enter as an adult and try to take the children away. Quote, as an adult, Godin once tried to take the children away from Camille, saying stuff like she wasn't qualified to take care of the children like this, when she clearly was. Lotka got mad. Its eyes began glowing, and the sky got dark, but not the same kind of dark that usually happens at night. No stars, just a bunch of dark clouds. Bucket and Camille took the kids inside the tree houses, but we were all watching this adult and Lotka. It tried to make the adult pass through the door that kids usually do, but the adult ran into the forest. We didn't find the sinkhole until the next day. Lotka says it cast the adult out, and to forget about it, but I couldn't. I couldn't trust Lotka after that. I left a week later. Camille, Bucket, Lotka, if you ever read this, I'm sorry.